Alright, hello and welcome to another Marvel Snap deck highlight. Since Elsa Bloodstone is in the spotlight cache, I thought it would be fun to highlight a deck utilizing her in it. And that deck is an old classic uh, where uh, the goal is to just get a really big Kitty Pride deck or Sebastian Shaw and then Taskmaster it. Uh, however, with the... Uh, addition of some new cards there's a lot more fun to be had with it uh like utilizing agony and scarlet spider as two more agony being another buff card and scarlet spider being another payoff card for all the buffing um so thought we would give it a go uh looks like we're playing against bounce which is some bad news bears for us um, probably just Shaw middle. We go Shaw, Gwenpool, Scarlet Spider, Kitty Pride, activate. Whatever. Our Shaw will be at 10 power. Uh, we're hoping for the hits obviously onto the Kitty Pride or the Scarlet Spider. That would be best for us. It doesn't really change our game plan too much. Right, like the goal for us is to get power not in the um sure he's lab lane anyway. We don't have any tech in this deck, so uh not a whole lot we can do about the um the Venom. <sighs> it's interesting to me that they snap. they play death middle they get 24 power middle they go to uh 90 uh we gain 46 power middle we go to 80 well let's hope they don't have death null all right scarlet spider win us the game go left I activated him, right? Go left. Go left, go left, go left. Bitch. It is a 50-50. Unfortuitous. But, uh, I mean, even the fact that we were able to moderately keep up with a destroy deck with Shuri's Lab on the table, I think uh, gives it some merit. If you enjoy these wackier decks, consider subscribing for more. We're on the road to, uh, you know, an amount of subscribers, so any bit helps. Hopping into game number two. Um, Agony is a good start for us. Probably Hope Summer's middle. Uh, I was like, what is this? Uh, Daredevil. It's Arsha. I mean, go Angela and Hope Summer's into Gwenpool. And then it's good since, uh, well, you know what? I thought this was um, not Feast, the one where once you fill, give plus one to everything. Ah. Yeah, I don't really think I wanted to play into Feast. I did want to play into Feast. I, this was the location I wanted to play into, actually. Um, I 
I think I hold Gwenpool for another turn. Like maybe we pull Kitty Pride or Scarlet Spider next turn. So I think we do that. Their Daredevil's dead, so they don't get to see anything. Uh, paid off, holding off because. Uh, Old Scarlet Spider. We get two energy next turn. Oh, thank God. I was like staring at it going, son of a gun. We can't play both cards. We're going to have seven energy next turn, so we will be able to play Scarlet Spider, Elsa Bloodstone. Which is very good. That's such a good set of hits, honestly. We do this with this. If they play a card into Feast, we can play Shaw Taskmaster, which would be really good. Um, this is 11 power, so. I feel like they, you know, probably maybe play a card into Supreme. They just really do not want to play a card in the feast. This, this, this. Because we want the Agony to go on the Shaw, we don't want the uh, Forge to get it, which is why I have to play Forge over here. Um, they have, what, 8 energy, so Shang plus a 4 drop is... They'd have to play Shang and then play 13 more power. Probably not. We need Scarlet Spider to win us 50-50. Son of a one, two, oh, two, power off, okay, that's the same, Scarlet Spider, come on. That's right, we, lose, we lost the last 50-50, win the next 50-50. Uh, I'm realizing, honestly, that I really like Scarlet Spider, and I'm trying at this point to figure out if it's my bias for how much I love this variant, or if I actually think he might be a pretty good card. In this deck, he feels, like, so strong. Because uh, if we didn't pull Forge there, we would have had the option to just Taskmaster this, and like a 6 11 is just good, you know? So, having some fun. Hopping into game number three. We have Scarlet Spider again. Um, hopefully, we can pull a good cheap card. That would do it. We have four, 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 three drops in the deck. Live from the Daily Bugle. Uh, we have pretty much the same setup as last time. Angela and Elsa and uh, Gwenpool, uh, and then into Scarlet Spider. They get the rock, which I assume they're more than fine with destroying. I assume it's a Fogwell hot location because of the two year anniversary of Marvel Snap. I I don't know that for a fact, I just feel like I'm seeing this location a lot. Give me at least one hit on the Scarlet Spider. Actually, a good animation on him. I 
with seven power there, eight power total gained left. Deadpool Carnage. What a game! They've destroyed five cards, so death is three. Um, this is only seven power, so I think it makes more sense to do like this, this, this. Uh, and then just, you know, hope that we win left. Hope that they don't play everything into left. It wouldn't have mattered. Okay. I mean, yeah, that's just a bit of an unlucky hand, right? Uh, if we... Uh, not even unlucky hand, unlucky hits from our Gwenpool, right? Two into Taskmaster is not what we want to see. If one of those hits goes somewhere else, we have a better chance, but... Win some, you lose some, you know? Yeah, so when I originally thought of this deck, the interaction I was looking at actually was... Uh, I thought, wouldn't it be funny if you could, like, Angela, Elsa, and then, like, Agony plus a card? Because then you would, um, open up the lane, uh, for, like, you'd have two spots left open in that lane, right? So if you didn't play a move card, you would then be able to play another Elsa card, like a card to get hit by Elsa into said lane. Um, so you'll actually see here exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, yeah, we have to Elsa here. Uh, we don't have to. We'll Fastos. Then we'll Elsa Agony. Next turn. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, so then we'll be able to, uh, Shaw Kitty Pride. Shaw here, Kitty Pride somewhere. Shaw here. Or... Scarlet Spider there. I think that makes more sense. And then we can just give Shaw the plus four from the Elsa buff. Whereas I think having a big Scarlet Spider will be way better for us. Yeah, this was the cool interaction that I made this deck for. I mean, that as I was talking about it, it happened. I think we just do this, and then next turn we could Kitty Pride Taskmaster. Oh, oh I, I did that in the wrong order. I totally did that in the wrong order. I didn't play Shaw. I didn't play Shaw second, did I? Oh, I did play Shaw second, thank god. Uh, 
I just so I just did it so haphazardly. I thought there was no way I actually did that properly. This. Can I win left ever? I don't think so. This would be eight. Yeah. We're getting 19 power right. I mean, I, we don't win that way, so I guess the solution is pray that Scar Scarlet Spider goes right. <laughs> because we don't win uh, blocking to force the Scarlet Spider right. Scarlet Spider. Give me the goods. Let's go. I am reborn. So, fun fact. Didn't matter, and I almost lost the game. Because of that. Their logic was, surely there's no way they could play 19 power, even though they knew I had a Scarlet Spider that I hadn't activated yet. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm surprised they played left because I feel like the Morbius was going to be enough to deter me out of it, but take what we can get. All right, hopping in to the last one for today's video. Uh, we have Fastos, which is okay. We need some buff cards. That's really good. That is really good. I don't want to play that. I can play that turn five with Scarlet Spider, so I don't have any urgency to play that card. I'm also afraid that they're, since they're, like, we're a destroy deck, obviously, I'm afraid of it getting killmongered. Justified fears. This is a very, very weird game. I don't even know if I want a Gwenpool, there's just too many cards in my hand. And then Sherry feels kind of weird. <laughs> I could do this. But then I don't have room to forge. Um, like I could forge Scarlet Spider on five is what this would allow, but I don't have the space to play forge. I think I could play Forge into Deep Space, but it wouldn't do anything. I guess is what I'm saying. Uh, I guess I'll do that. What a game! God, I don't know what I want to do. The discounted Shaw is so sick. Oh wait, actually we just do that because they clogged that lane. Um, yeah. 
I played the second. Not exactly sure why they left. I guess they didn't really destroy that many cards, right? They destroyed one, two, three, four cards. Um, so death would have been four. I mean, I feel like it's definitely winnable for them. Because we would have played what, like Angela Shaw, Scarlet Spider left, so it would have been 18 power. Yeah, it might have been above what they could have done. I think they probably could have played 16. Played Death, Deadpool. Deadpool would have been 4 power. So. Suppose it was a fair retreat on their end. But we also had the option to go Shaw Middle. Uh, Shaw Middle would have been 8 power, put us up 2, and then we would have had 12 power left still, so. It would have actually tied power wise. Would have been interesting. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, let me know, subscribe to TechEyes, and I'll see you in the next one.